So um, the other way I learned was that, ladies and gentlemen, we can factor every, now, every single problem we've day, we've noticed that a is equal to 1, right? In last class period, when we, didn't, when we had an a, we factored it out, right? No matter what that number was, we just factored it out, and then we factored completely. However, in this case, we cannot factor. So always look to see if you guys can factor it out. But in this case, we cannot factor it out, correct? OK. So um, basically, what we simply need to do then is I want you guys to understand, though, always look to see if you're dealing with square terms. In this case, we are dealing with a square term. 4 is a square number, and x squared is a square number, right? 25 is a squared number. I even wrote down square numbers over there for you. So when we have squared numbers, remember we talked about this last class period. When you have a squared term minus a squared term, without doing all the fancy stuff we just did, the factored form is a minus b times a plus b. So if we're saying 4x squared is an a squared, I need to figure out what the a is, right? So if 4 is a squared, then a would just be 2. If x squared is a squared, then just a, um, uh, a would be x. Minus square root of 25 is going to be 5 times 2x plus 5. Let's double check our work. Does, what's 2x times 2x? 4x. 4x squared. What's negative 5 times positive 5? Negative 25. Negative 25. What about those middle terms? Inner and outer. What's negative 5 times 2x plus 5 times 2x? 0x, which is just 0, which we don't write. So therefore, that's your final answer. OK?